Hello guys, what is going on? Bazza here, and w I haven't been do done a KSP video in a while. Um, this is due to me being sick and just not having the time to actually do anything. I'm fucking piled up on s been piled up on schoolwork and all that crap. Um, but uh, we're gonna finally go to Juno, guys. Um, it's, I think it's about time we go to Juno. Um, I haven't been doing it, and um, well, you know. I'm, I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't really been doing anything. My voyage throughout space series is di is uh dying because I haven't done anything. Um, but we're gonna get back into it right now. Um, with our basic uh, uh, planetary insertion thing, or Bobby. Um, where is this thing? So, um, I've been doing a lot of things. Um, I did a couple of. I'm, I'm gonna be doing more as well of kinetic void videos. And I'll also be doing some more of these, uh, also more KSP videos, uh, of course. Um, but overall, I've just been chilling, you know, just chilling out. Um, doing homework, doing all this kind of crap that gets in the way. I'm guessing you guys know, you know the feels. You guys know the feels, I'm guessing. Anyway, but that's kind of past me now, um... So it's pretty good. I'm doing pretty good at the moment. I'm, everything's going really well. So you know, videos will start to pick up. Um, I am on holidays currently, so videos are going to start picking up, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to Eve. My phone's going off because I think it's Facebook. No, I do not. Um, I'm also thinking of doing some Warzy, but I'm kind of against it because of all the hate the game does get. Um, guys, I think it's a I think it's an awesome game. Um, those who sell it out being a uh, copy of Daisy, I I don't know, guys. Oh, you could it is, but let's face it, the idea ideas are never original. Um, if you can find one original idea, uh, be sure to present it to me in some sort of way, shape, or form. But I'll probably be doing some Warzy PvP gameplay where me and my uh, but uh, me and my buddy Lee, we go on tears just destroying people. Like today, we had a bit of a stronghold, and I rushed up there, killed one guy, and then we had like twenty, we had like twenty guys come at us. It was insane. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but it was actually it was really fun. It was really fun, and I reckon that's what people have to see about games like Warzy. You have to see how fun it can be before you can judge it. Um, I'm pretty sure the people who would say I'm a complete retard, but, alright, whatever. Um, I really don't care. Um, yeah, we got a nice little basic stage here, which you need to move these down, actually. Plus, there we go. Uh, so we have our lander. I was also going to chuck some RCS on it, because if I want to redock with this, um, well, I'm going to need to, and that actually means that I need to... No, I have to dock without SAS on here, or else it's going to break something. Something will break. Um, but uh, I was trying to do something in... Um, actually, this uh, in KSP before. I was trying to get like a uh, mobile lunar base to the moon, but I don't know what was going on. My ship was just flipping over and all this. I don't know, I was just being... Really, really stupid. Um, I was getting pretty mad. I was getting pretty mad. I must admit. Um, but I don't think it matters now. As we're past, we're past that. I don't like staying mad at things, so you know, it's better not to be stay mad at things and just better to move along. In most cases, <laughs> uh, there's always those particular. Things that happen that you just can't ignore. You can't ignore them because it's just uh, that annoying. All right, place them there. Here we go. Uh, should do the lander stage. Uh, looks good. And just gonna strut this on now as well. All right, more struts, guys. Remember struts. Struts are your friend in this game. Never leave. I don't know what's going on. 
I'm a little confused about what's going on right now. Okay. That was weird. Um, but anyway. That looks stupid. Go. Um, so guys, the basics of this is strutting. Strut the crap out of these things. Um, I did go on my, uh, I have my own little KSB playthrough as well, which I go through on myself. And, well, this design went really well, except when I uh, crashed into Juno, because I didn't realize um, how to do something, and I crashed into Juno like a complete moron. But, uh, you know, shit happens. Can't hold it. Um, what we're going to be doing is one Kerbal will be going in this one, so there'll be one Kerbal in orbit around Juna, and there'll be one Kerbal around... Oh, there'll be one Kerbal landed on Juna. Hopefully. It doesn't die. Um, it's happened, and it probably will happen again, so... You know, don't expect these things not to happen. Uh, I need to shut this up, though, because I'm sick of these things breaking on me. Yeah, I've had these things break on me so many times. Uh, we were doing asparagus staging. Uh, guys, I also have this mod installed where I can actually place, uh, save certain parts. So, like, let's say I was making this the uh, launcher, and I wanted to chuck. I wanted to make the payload separate. I would just have to uh, chuck the launcher in there, and then chuck the pay. And when I'm making payload, chuck this in there. And then attach it, and it works. For it. So it's a really great mod. Um, can't remember what it's actually called now. I may post it in the uh, info box. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know which mod it is if you look it up, if you do a quick search. I'm like, man, they still haven't fixed this bug. It's been fucking since like I don't know how long that bug has been around for. It's just so irritating that one. If they fix it. Alrighty. Perfect. Now, uh, asparagus staging, asparagus staging. We need. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one. Go down that one. I want that one there. And this one will be the final stage. And so will that one. And this should be the first stage here. So that one goes there. And that one goes there. Alright. Um, that looks good. Now he's got to do the strutting. Um, nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Sorry. Got to do this all slow low. Uh, which one is that again? That should not be that one. That means that. Ah, oh shit. That's. Oh, I'm going to be stupid and I'm going to fuck something up. <laughs> not good. Not good. Um hmm. Um, and this should be the top one, shouldn't it? Yep. There we go. Just what I wanted. Just what the doctor ordered. Alrighty. Um, asparagus stages. I don't usually use these. Usually I just chuck a big clump of crap and put it into space because that's cool like that. Um, it's probably not efficient, but... You know what? I'm not one for efficiency. I'm one for get shit done. I don't care how big this be it has to be. Just get get it done, you know? No one wants to wait around and wait for stuff. So what do we do? We get it done. We will call this Leandy Gamer. Leandy Gamer Juner Lander. There we go. Um uh, also guys, um during the point where I'm actually getting into um, an orbit, I will not... 
Uh, is that did that do what I wanted to do? Yep. Um, I will just either place music over that or just delete the entire section out. I'll be muting my mic during that section and I'll either fast fly it, uh, fast forward it, or uh, with, uh, with some music over it. Uh, not KSP music, just some random non copyright music that I found really. That, well, that sounded really nice and uh, it was just really cool. I've been listening to some really nice music these days. So, you know. You guys will get to share my music. I'll share my music with you guys. And. Yeah. We'll have some fun, won't we? Alright. So, Kinetic Void. That's had, I think, two updates since I. Since it's been downloaded. And I've really got to. I've really got to, uh. Learn half the controls. Because at the moment, I, I'm still a bit hopeless on the controls. So I need, like, a tutorial or something. Someone's got to teach me. Um. But. I don't know, I think it's, it's, I reckon it's going to turn out to be a really nice game. Um, just the way it looks, the way it feels, the lighting, it you can just show how much effort has been put into the game so far, and it's it's still in heavy beta, it's still in a uh, heavy alpha, my bad, and it just looks, it looks amazing. Um, and it just looks really, it really looks really nice. Uh, can I go down more? Or not? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, there we go. Are we good to go? No, we're not. Um, let me just check. Why are they in the same group? That's a no go. Um, my last two attempts at getting the drone on my uh, actual well, I'm spinning laggy. Have actually been uh, really, really great attempts. Um, hopefully, nothing goes wrong here. Hopefully, the staging's right. Um, I got a I intercept with the Juna pretty much straight off the bat. I had to do maybe one or two corrections, but I pretty much got everything that I wanted right off the bat, which is what you want. Um, and there's my rovers over there. <laughs> my little rovers. I was actually trying to get a uh, Munlab. Alright. Take off. Relatively stable launch. I'm getting more FPS than I was when I wasn't recording. That's awkward. Um, KSP guys, hard to record. Um, I don't know why, but I'm getting about 10 FPS, and if you want to know my specs, I'll actually uh, tell you in the next video if I get enough comments. Um, not my specs, but there are mid to high end PC, so um, I can run games like Battlefield 3 and Bioshock and Ultra, but I try to run this game, and t uh, it's like 11 FPS, but I think that's because it runs majority off the CPU, and my CPU is only an i5-2400, which isn't exactly the uh, best one. Sweet, that went out for that. Uh, not good. Um, but it was, it was relatively good, um, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm pretty sure. I think it's. The, I think it's something to do with the Unity energy, and they're still porting it over. And the game's gonna get more optimized as it goes. So that's what it's all about. The hell? All right. I see. As you can see we've got double orange tanks on each thing. Um, I've actually found these are quite uh good launches for launching shit into space. Um, I'm, uh, next episode we will be docking with the. Uh, space station, which is at 530,000 meters, um, and hopefully that goes well, and hopefully I get it docked, like, instantly. I've seen some crazy people, I've seen, we're watching some, uh, more videos on docking, because I'm not the best at it, and I want to get better at it, but, um, I just find it really difficult getting it, uh, getting a Revenduce, a Re uh, not a Revenduce, a, I don't know. I don't know what you call it, lol. <laughs> I'm horrible. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, there we go. Make sure everything's draining properly. Sweet. Um, but, I don't know, I've been having, I've been having a lot of fun just playing by myself. Uh, playing, uh, Wazzy. Yeah, that's been really good. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, we seem to be going. Really? I think 300. 400 meters a second. That's not like too. That's not that good. 
We're, we're rising pretty high. We're already at 28,000 apolapsis. Um, this design can get to Juna. Um, believe me, it's... This middle bit here um, enabled me to get the Juna intercept. So if you if you play this outright, you can get a Juna intercept just using these engine, um, just using this main stage, and then using this to get into and using these stages to get into orbit. Um, but be aware, um, having two nuclear engines, you'll be in for about f uh, five to ten minute burns of trying to get into orbit. So I always burn up early anyway. Um, it's not fun. It's not fun sitting there. F like I can. I've gone AFK, well, I did it for like five minutes, come back and... <laughs> oh, you probably know what happened. I need to turn over pretty soon, like now. So that I don't knock these. There we go. Alright, so when they come off, they should come off quite nicely. My speed now, 1500, sweet. Nice. Alrighty, where am I stat? Oh. I was going to 90,000, there's a bloody fly in front of me. Go away. Um, we're just going to use some quick nodes for this. Just so we can get a what I want as quickly as possible. Go. Um, um, I don't really need to use the node, but it's just... Oh, shit, I just got rid of it, didn't I? I'm an idiot. 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 Nope. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Uh, come on. There we go. Alrighty, I'll start burning now, which is about a hot minute burn, so I don't think I'll be getting my Juna intercept with just these engines, um, it is possible, but I don't think I'm going to get it this time, it really depends on your launch and how well your launch goes and when you uh, turn over and all that, um, but the LG Munlander, I should probably get rid of all that crap or just run into it or something, I guess. And we're burning. No 30 bit seconds. Come on. Gotcha. Yeah. Anyway, um. Oh, I I like going to you know why the hell is this thing so big? I don't even mean to. Yeah, well, I'll just do it by myself now. Um. Hmm. Who have we got? We got Carrick and Nilisi this time. What the hell? Periapsis is right where I want it. Perfect. How uh, much fuel do we have left? Alright, we have tank in a bit. Nice. Um, actually, I'm going to see if I can get a intercept. Set his target. Guys, you may say I'm rushing into this, but I'm actually uh, going to meet my mic now until we get the intercept. And I will be back, guys, when we get, we're about to intercept and deorbit with Kerbin. I mean, either Juno or Juno. When we uh, go into orbit with Juno, and from there we'll be landing, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.
what is going on guys, I am back and we have our insertion into Juno and we are currently just stabilizing our orbit around it, getting it, um, circularizing it and so on. I used a bit more fuel than I would have liked to, um, like a ridiculous amount of fuel than I would have liked to, um, I don't know what, I had to burn for like 15 minutes or some ridiculous amount of time. So, I don't know. Down. Right, I'm just going to burn a bit, so we're just going to circleize this, probably at 120 or so. But I'm amazed I really did use so much uh, fuel. Um, I'm guessing that was because I had to burn from 34 million... Ah, uh, oh, what the hell? Oh, it's because I'm apparently okay. Um, so yeah, I'm annoyed about that. If I need to, I'll transfer fuel from that. I don't exactly need that much fuel. Um, at Juno, so we should be fine for that. To land, we can just use the parachute, so it's all good. Alrighty, I want to get this down to at least 150. Oh, actually, no, I'll probably get it down to 100. To... Nope. Almost. Okay. All good. Alrighty, so, we're at Juno, and we'll probably end up landing. I don't know where we'll end up landing, but it'll be somewhere. Alrighty. Alright, see, my papillopsis is there. I just want to circularize this a bit. Circularize this orbit a bit more. So, can you remember guys, just to fix this orbit up, 158, 124, 104, 111, 118, 114, 112, 111, ah, sweet, there we go. Uh, I need to swap to that middle. Alright, T. Looks like our landing on Juno is going to be successful. Hmm. So guys, Voyage Throughout Space episode 4, I think it will be. Um, We're going to be landing on Juno. Uh, so, it might be episode 3, actually. I'm pretty sure it's episode 4. But, either way. Um, it looks like we're going to be getting a successful landing on Juno. Just finish that all bit off. Uh, there we go. One twelve, one ten, good enough. There we go. All right. Uh, let's just get on the other side of the moon, I guess. I don't want to be on the. I don't really want to be on the dark side, so we're actually gonna flip to about. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Now I want to. Uh, who shall we take? Who shall we leave on Juna? And who shall we leave in orbit? I'll take Kirk. I think it's Kirk. We'll take Kirk. Um, what the hell? This is a weird camera angle. Oh well. Wow. RCS, please. Nope. Down, please. I don't want to lose a curveball. Grab and board, please. Thank you. And let's decouple. I love that. Alrighty. So, Kirk. We are going down to Juna. Whoa. Oh, okay, I thought the game just rest a second. That looked weird. I was like perfectly stationary without an S without a uh, SAS or ASAS. Oh shit! Um, I need to fix this.
I'm gonna get this down to at least 1500. Oh, actually, no, probably about 6,000. That's where I had it last time I was landing. And the arrow, the arrow break was really nice, so we'll get it down to that exact amount as well. We are... Yep, there we go. 6,000. Rightio. Let's zoom up. Let's fast forward a little. The redness. The red planet Juna. I don't know why we're turning. It's weird like that. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be landing on a pretty flat zone, so... Nope, we don't want to be facing that way. We want to be facing this way. Alrighty, so this is going to take a bit of time to actually uh, get down, so... The last few minutes of this video will be kind of slow, and if we could stop rotating for some reason, I think it's something to do with the atmosphere of this planet, even though it doesn't start to like, what, 1500, I think 15,000 meters above the surface. Alrighty. Having no advanced SAS is uh, really annoying, but... I probably should have chucked it on here, but I didn't really want to. Um, I didn't think I needed it, and yeah, I don't, I don't really think I needed it at all. all right. G, please. Thank you. I have RCS on there here somewhere. Bit too sensitive for my liking this time. Yeah, cancel that out. Um, I'm recording same time, put up time, so also alrighty. Actually, come on, come on. Yes, stay still. Stay in that exact area. Alright, we're only just heading into the atmosphere. June has a very low atmosphere. Um, it doesn't start till what? Uh, I think it starts at around. The actual atmosphere starts at around 28,000. We're spinning a little. Don't want to do that. I don't want to burn at all either, so. Um, if I'm not burning. I don't know how you guys would do this, but this is how I would do it. After watching a couple of videos. What's happening inside? Holy shit, I'd be shit scared right now. <laughs> I would be shit scared, bro. It's like landing on the red planet. I actually got slightly scared last time because I was under 10,000 meters and I wouldn't know. It was my first, when I was actually first, my first time landing on Juno, I was unsure about everything and I, uh, I was really scared because at 10,000 feet, my parachute still went, to, uh, 10,000 meters, my bad. Parachutes still weren't deployed, and I was like, ah, okay, what's going on? And then they deployed, and I landed pretty safely, so... Um, these are the big wheels, so they can take a bit more of an impact. Um, so that's good. Uh, going about 1,000 meters a second. Oh, that's going well for me, isn't it? Hmm... Alrighty. Hmm. I should probably should just speed up a little. Mm hmm. Uh, I have six parachutes. So that should be enough to stop my descent. Um. We're actually uh, losing some speed now. Alrighty. We're actually losing about... Alrighty. 
We're actually upside down, technically. We're facing the ground. Right. The parachutes are activated, so they will come out whenever they are needed. And we have the abort. I wonder what that does. I don't know what that abort button does. I don't want to know what it does either. Parachutes usually deployed around 10,000 feet. Feet. Can't talk English. Uh, so guys, also, um, any recommendations what, what you guys want me to do? Like maybe build a mobile uh, moon base so that it can actually move around and all that. Um, I was trying that on my other account, but for some reason, my other uh, playthrough, but for some reason, um, after, when there was only a single engine left, the I don't think there was enough uh, gyro, or whatever you call it, um, to keep it steady, and the whole thing just kept flipping uh, left, right, and center, even with RCS and advanced SAS, so, I don't know, I'll, I'll end up doing it one day, um, I'll ask some guy, I know he's done it, here come the parachutes, thank you parachutes, slow us down please, slow us down a lot, I don't want to die, neither does anyone else, and there is our, Inter interceptor? Oh, I don't know what the hell you call it. But it's there. Um, I'll rename that as well. And I'm probably actually going to have to send a... I'll send a vessel out here to uh, refuel that one. Then this one can take off again. And I'll just make a probe. We're good to go. Alright, we are actually just passing 2,000 meters above the ground. Alright, Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Oh shit, don't break. Ooh, that was close. I hope this thing doesn't break. Perfect. Thank you, KSP gods. As you can see, guys, we don't actually use much fuel in this stage. Um, So technically, like, I... Technically, I could have left like a hundred units of fuel on here. We still would have landed perfectly. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Um, we actually landed, but I sticky keyed, and well, you know what happens in sticky keys. You get all tabbed, and the recording stopped as well. Um, I think it's auto set to that, or else the game will actually just stop working. So, guys, we did land. Sorry that you probably did miss that because. I kept tabbing shift like a complete moron. Um, I've got to really stop doing that. Uh, we can actually Eva, Mr. Kirk. He has. Oh. All right. Whatever you want to do, Kirk. You can just. You can just. Uh, how do I? How am I gonna get off? You can just land on your head. You know. Just land on your head. Right. Do you want? You want to mind getting up? Come on. I'm gonna go exploring. Oh, you just fell on your face. Come on. Come on, Kirk. Let's do some flying. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm going to actually get on top of this. Quick. Nope. And better back up. There we go. On top of our uh, little, you want to turn around, cable, cable, turn around, cable, turn around. There we are. We have successfully landed on Juno. Um, it has been a successful mission in Voyage Throughout Space. Next time we will be landing on Ike, or whatever it's the thing's called. I think it's Ike. Yeah, we'll be landing on Ike. And then I think we'll be doing Eve or uh, there is Drez next, um, also its moons. Not exactly sure yet, but guys, I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, be sure to hit that uh, like button, and also drop a comment below what you'd like to see me do. Um, Kerix, what the hell are you looking at? It's just, it's just sand, and dirt, and redness, alright? Just, just calm down. Oh shit, he's on a shot. Oh, you need to get back in your thing before you dive shock, or something like that. Put that away. And grab this. And keep flying. So guys, successful landing. Um, I don't know what else much to say. 
So guys, if you, as I, as I was saying before, I was interrupted by Kerrick's, Kerman's, uh, mind blown mind. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you comment in the comments below what you'd like to see me do, what other indie games you'd like to see me do as well, um, besides KSP and Kinetic Void, I'll be doing Wars -y definitely now, I've just thought about it, I'm going to be definitely doing it, and... Yeah, our next mission will be landing on Ike, um, as that is in the Juna area. So we'll probably be using the same sort of launcher and lander, except the la this lander will have a bit more uh, umph to give it, so they can actually land, because as you know, moons have no atmosphere, oh, except for, I can't remember which one has, one of them has, a, one of them has no atmosphere, um, has an atmosphere, which you can use jet engines in, I know that. Um... No, I can't do that. Oops. Um, so, until then, this so this is going to get a bit of upgraded. Probably a bigger tank, bigger engine. Uh, we're getting rid of the uh, parachutes. And, yeah, we'll just be... We might take these guys home one day in the final episode of Voyage Throughout Space. But we've finally landed on everything. We might go and rescue all the Kerbals we have left on these planets to study them. Yes, that's what we'll tell them. To study. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm off... Um, this video will be uploaded tonight, which is in about, I'll upload in about three, four hours. Um, I hope you guys do see this and enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next episode of A Voyage Throughout Space. Goodbye.